Hey pack leaders, I want to do this uh, re video to give you an update on the Hetz Nerd server review. Now, um, when I had first set it up, it was all on the cloud, and I had purchased a um, Hetzer dedicated server, and I didn't know what I what I did, but I actually purchased a decent one. Uh, but I noticed that you can probably get a little more uh, bang for the buck. But what I want to show you is uh, how I have it currently set up and what I will probably do a little differently uh, next time. So uh, looking at uh, here, this is a tuning um, bot on Hetzner. Uh, you need more than 3.5 gigahertz to kind of get the speed that you need. Um, currently at, looking at it right now, you see how, how fast it kind of updates from checking the, the, the trades. Um, updating the numbers here I think this it's in the tuning mode but if it was in the initial guess you'll kind of see the uh, numbers populate much quicker here uh, if that shows up so also looking at the timestamp here oh there you go this is kind of updating it right now I'll, I'll leave it right here for now um, first started some might go a little slower some a little faster but it was like averaging 20 minutes here uh, from here was another 20 minutes, here was 10 minutes, from here to here was 18 minutes, and then another 20 minutes, and here was like 10 minutes right here, um, 59 to here, 15 minutes, uh, here about 20 minutes, and here another 20 minutes, here 13 to 15 minutes right here, and then 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes uh, well Actually, that's mad 13 ish whatever and here about 20 minutes So it kind of sees between 15 to 20 minutes uh, with this current setup um, Let me show you the processor Here Alright, so this is a uh, Xeon 3.5 so you kind of need a higher processor to for the tuner for sim uh, in order for it to you know update much quicker okay um, as far as cores goes it probably doesn't matter uh, as far as because you're just doing sim only but if you want to run other things in the background uh, yeah you probably need a little more too so this is kind of what I'm running right now I'm running at 20 percent um, 3.5 to 3.7 on a Hetzner um, dedicated VPS and I'll show you the package that I, I got okay and uh, Haas is running on a different server actually but what you can do is actually look into here for the dedicated servers and I think I, I don't see my current core in here that was probably some kind of sale I picked up somewhere else but what you can do is you know kind of just scan this stuff right here and kind of see what you're getting and just do a little research on the cores I didn't know about this before so here it's a um, 3.4 to 4 gigahertz and I think that's something similar to what I have uh, it can go up to the um, 4 I believe let's see here 3.5 to 3.7 ish eh, maybe um and let's see what else uh, there's there's some other ones too um check out the next lineup the ax line i think this is like amd processor so i i probably wouldn't go for that and she really won't like it you got octa core and all this other stuff but um i know that it for, for me personally amd's overheats for me but i guess not a problem when it's, it's on a dedicated server that's their problem to cool it but I, don't know, I still like the Intel brand uh, so a little for $50 you, you can get something like this Intel 75 maybe that's what I don't know and this one here you know you can see the price of the processor you get a little more of this stuff who knows what that means um, maybe more you know communication between devices or whatever uh, but w with the hit in the in the processor speed you know. um, 
next one over the SX line or PX line just PX to the PX PX might be a little more reasonable um, we have an opta core I see you really want to pay that much for it which is eh, 94 bucks right not so, not so bad I'm already paying $94 about 90 bucks for the uh, green server which isn't at great of a performance uh, compared to this so you get 3.7 to 4.5 for 90 bucks uh, that's the price of the server there and um, it can go up to 5 12 gigabytes and you know all this other stuff so this is actually pretty nice right so do a little research on the processors what you can afford to get and you could probably host uh, this on there so you got eight cores 16 threads now let me switch over to my other one and I'm kind of thinking like maybe I should have done this be before I went to green server again um, so I I'm gonna run green server for about a month and then uh, maybe switch over to this uh, $90 because I'm paying the same thing anyway when I get more power for it right so <coughs> All right, so here's my green server, and the green server is what's hosting Haas right now. There's my Haas, oops, All right? Um, kind of shrunk it a little bit. Insufficient funds. Hopefully that gets cleared out. All right, so it's running Haas, and it's got. 16 processors or 16 threads, eight cores, just like the other one, but 2.27 gigahertz. So I figured, you know, uh, I could run Haas, and then this one's running the LiC and Live T only um, tuner. So it's you know decent, but I still think that uh, if I can achieve the same with um, the dedicated Headstar, uh, I'd write, rather go for that. Uh, one other biggest thing that I found was the when you first set up the control panel oh, There's this power setting that kind of really throttled a lot of the stuff when I was on the cloud. I was like wait a minute. It's throttled and um, so we, And then also the updates and stuff uh, you want to make sure you update everything so let me show you the power real quick You want to make sure you're in high performance usually when you start off you're on balance and the UI for uh, FOI is slow and all, everything else you hit this high performance plan and then everything just really speeds up afterwards okay so that's one biggest thing there all right so that's my setup for now um so i think i'm next month uh, i'm going to switch over to all hetzner uh but get on to where's my This one here. Okay, there it is. So I think for the same price, I'm already paying about 90 bucks with 2012 on here. Uh, this, oh, you probably use Hetzner. Um, the what is this? The uh, PX line, and that's comparable. I get the 94 dollar one, and order this instead. Get the Opta Core, much faster and. Uh, speed all the way to four and a half frequency it's pretty awesome uh host that with haas and um even run my uh my sim with that too and then i have a separate one just run live t and live c on a um an omega 34 dollar one so okay so kind of mix and match what you need uh sim does uh pro require more uh, processing speed for speed um, live T, live C, not so much. All it does is kind of checks it real quick and then clones it. It doesn't have to constantly tune and back test, uh, so it's very it doesn't require much resources. Okay, so that, hopefully that's helped you to kind of uh, shop for a better server on Hetzner. Stay away, away from the cloud stuff. It doesn't really uh, do you much because it's all throttled down to two point whatever gigahertz. Uh, you want to go dedicated and uh, make sure you research your cores, know what kind of speed you're getting. 
and uh, kind of learn a little bit more about the cores and what it can do. Uh, some cores allow it to maybe host more memory. Some only allows up to 64 gigabytes. So depending on your needs, like if you need more memory, you might want to go for here. Less memory, go for here. Uh, if you have a lot of cross-device communication with the hardware, you might want to go for some of these other um, buses, but sacrifice your speed for that. Um, and uh, and there's what, what helps is there's a, this little you know buttons on here too. You can read a little button like what's what's the point of this bus speed? What does that get me? You know, so that's the transfer between computer components. If we don't care about computer components, uh, then we could probably not go for that. You know, we could just go for more power, and that's all we want. You know because we're tuning. So this is more of the, uh, that, what is cache, uh, here we have memory located in the processor, and allows like, all cores to have make sure access to the latest cache level, so they can talk to each other, you know, there's all these are uh, pretty cool things that you might be able to, you know, benefit from depending on well, what you need and all these other, um, you know, features and V Pro, what, what is all that, you know, the hyper threading, um, well, some may be relevant, some maybe not, you know, hyper-threading, whatever. Okay. Alright, thank you guys. Hope, hope that helped, and I'll talk to you later.